players ready to kick it off for our first top eight qualifier. It is Light and Jonathan Numbers. Okay, the venue doesn't hear me anymore. I, I feel like, like, you know, when you're like presenting to your class and you just like, you feel relieved? Yeah. I, I feel good. It feels nice to be back with you, Henry. Here we go. Yeah, Moist we, Light now, and John now Numbers. Have, now we just have Twitch chats so to complain about yes. us. <laughs> Here we go, though. PS2, right? The, the class is starting out. We're not doing anything crazy right now. Now, John Numbers, right? He's been around the block with a lot of these matchups. Fox is, you know, he fights Tilde all the time. It's, it's Falco. It's a different character. Yeah. But he knows how to deal with spaces into a few ways. People talk about the spaces and we feel like, oh, they absolutely trash we fit. But you see how John Numbers fares against these characters. It, he's fine. He makes it look like it's not that bad. So honestly, I'm excited to see how he holds up here against a player like Light. It's interesting, right? Because you would think that num Numbers just has... Uh no more stock because you missed a tech, and there he goes. That's what happens. Uh, tech jab block into up smash. But it feels like Light is almost playing a match, uh, playing against Numbers in a way that Numbers has like evolved against in uh, in New York, where oh my god, like I like I'm getting you're trying to ledge trap me, but I'm able to shut down and slowly uh, whittle away at these ledge traps and make a ledge feel not as disadvantaged as it seems. However, Light says, yes, okay, but Fox neutral there. Yeah, but yes, Fox okay, neutral. but I can react to your rolls. Like, oh, despite all the damage that you're getting right there, Light has just outvalued so many of the situations that it feels like Numbers wants to be in as the Fox Illusion barely getting on stage by the time that spike landed. Can we rename Fox and Arrow the Disney Fast Pass? Because why does it have so much priority? It's it's a hell of a button, but... It's, it's such a good button. There's that. That's another good button. Yeah. We fit F-Tilt. That's so... Why, who was making that move? Like, you know what? You, see the, you know the back leg? You know this yoga move? Let's make that take the stocks. Woo. Let's see. Wait, that platform extension was clean, though. Getting the down tilt follow-up, the air dodge up as well to stall for a little bit of time. Numbers wanting to control the tempo of the game, not let Light play as fast as you know he can. But another one of those jumps getting called out as well. And then the back air to boot. Luckily, so, uh, Deep Breathing was online, which does boost, uh, boost Weave Hit's survivability, but nothing's making you survive that up smash at those percents. Mm -hmm. Light once again holding onto this lead. And the weep at standing dash grab missing, leading to a 40% and climbing combo reverse up tilt as well. Yo, Light, what is going on, dude? What I love watching Light play. Oh, I so love watching this guy, dude. man. The extension on a character like this, going for the F tilt there too. The other thing I noticed, I'm just gonna call out right now. What's good? Why do the best spacey reps like they, they use F tilt in the most like goofy scenarios? Like if anyone else uses it, like yo, why are you using F tilt there? But Tilde, Light, and Jackal, their usage of F tilt on their characters. That means we saw from Light there extending his combo, still trying to get back into this. But oh, oh, he's avoiding that. Yeah, but it's like doing the things that other Fox players won't. Right? You, you are the guy, top five in the world. You gotta innovate all the time, and he's doing that right now in winners quarters against Mr. John Numbers. Yeah, you gotta get creative and you gotta like play on your toes, right? That's the part of playing a fast character is being willing to roll with the punches and being mm -hmm. willing to like, all right, I need to do something in this situation. You're not always going to be prepared, but you're always going to be ready for certain uh, for certain setups and certain ideas. Like having those ideas in your head is the important thing before you're able just to go out there and execute and light. Having so much familiarity with Fox has those ideas and it's just a matter of recognition and reaction. Yeah, there you go. Recognition was right there, like you said, you know, going for those nares. That when you need to. Like you watch light, and honestly, if I didn't had knew nothing about Smash Ultimate, and I'm watching light. I would assume Fox had really bad frame data. You want to know why? Because he's so sparing with his moves, right? He doesn't like throwing them out all willy nilly. You know, he throws out his nair when he when he needs to, right? He, he knows each situation. He's not like going in there guessing. He knows what move is going to work at what time, and he makes it work. You know, he like finds the, the jab setups whenever he can, the nair perfect timing, and the up airs does a fantastic job. But now we're getting into game two, starting on small battlefield, challenging that deep breathing immediately. Light, you're that guy. You, you do what the entirety of New York City has wanted to do for years, challenging deep breathing. That's the go. When you got speed like foxes and bravery like lights, you can do just about anything. Quick 96 and Ooh. you're gone. That's okay. just it. That's, maybe. maybe. It's you just know that like comment that. I made about not thinking fox would have bad frame data? I lied. Yeah. I lied. I was, After I saw that, I'd be like, okay, maybe this character's kind of good. <laughs> maybe this character's a little OD. <laughs> We're watching back air, back air chains, trying to read the tech roll in, not finding it though. And uh, John. Don't get JB Ford. Don't get JB Ford in bracket. John, please. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yes. First the hit. script. And every hit matters when it comes to Wii Fit because, I mean, you take one, you do 69, and you're able to pile it on just so, so reliably. And again, man, these Fox Illusions, the rising back airs. It 
He's so sick. He's so cool. You can't play slow against light because he makes you play fast. And if he's making a slow player play fast, he's making you uncomfortable. Falling up oh air. Oh, my God. He's taking pages out of books of history, and he's turning them into reality, bringing us to the very present day. Oh, my gosh. Wake up. Smell the coffee. <laughs> Smell the fox dash attack. We're blowing up. Forward air coming out again. Oh, you check that short hop over the sun salutation, dude, though. Dude, he, he saw the sunrise. He went right over it. Dang. He's ridiculous trying to find the F-Sash on the ledge. John Numbers holding out for dear life. Please, the script doesn't allow for this. Not the three stock, man. <laughs> numbers, please. HO3K stream, HO3K numbers. John, I know, I believe the, something the, can happen here. The header that usually covers that spacing, unable to do it that time, setting up for oh. exactly those situations as numbers getting shut down and dismantled by a light who calms himself down afterwards after a blitz of a set. What an. I mean, holy moly, Mr. Mr. Paris Ramirez, what did you take before this game? Because that was, that was a, that was tough. <laughs> Dude, okay. You know what I know my favorite thing about watching top players? Hit me. You know when you're like, you're like, your friends like high level players, right? Like I know that I am, right? And yeah. you're watching a set back, like, you know what? Okay, but what if you did this here? Right, like, like you should have done the like right here in this situation, yeah, right? What's up? Getting to ledge, right? You're thinking like, oh, John Numbers, he always does that up air from ledge, right? He's kind of really, like, someone should punish him for that. He, he keeps getting away with that. Ledge's like, all right, bet, all right, bet. He does it again, press up air, boom. He does it one time. Ledge's like, I, I don't want none of that nonsense. You, that wasn't safe. Punish you for it. And You're I, not getting away with that. What I feel like is especially poignant about that Momo, right? Is like it's such a John Numbers classic as well. Like I watch him do all the time at Xeno, he hits you with the no mix-up mix-up, where it's like, no way is this dude going to head her from ledge again. Oh, wait, there he did. Oh, wait, that was an up air. And being able to just reliably dig into your history and say, I'm going to call out a We Fit classic, a John Numbers classic, and take the game with it all right here, right now, like, that's just a right on the money. Like, it's just a poignant right on the money, like, I'm going to, like, I know what I'm doing, and I'm doing it better than you.